What's going on YouTube? It's Silva Armory. I'm your host James Silva and in today's video we're going over Gamer Girl does a thigh workout. Now, you guys keep on asking me why do I keep calling around on being a gamer girl or being a nerd? Well guess what? Davina is a gamer girl and I'm a gamer boy. We're big nerds. We're the biggest nerds we know because guess what? We even have played two MMOs, maxed out characters, relic weapons, mythic weapons, and we play board games at home and we play hero clicks as well as paint miniature figures. We are nerds. We are huge nerds. We literally, in negative 40, 50 degree wind chill, sitting in the car waiting for the car to warm up, we're both playing on our phones playing games. That's what we do. But we don't let it take control of us where we're getting out of control with the weight. And we would like to feel great about ourselves and about our body. So we actually watch what we eat and we work out five days a week. And we find that balance between work, gaming, and working out. Now, going over the thigh workout, first of all, you gotta understand there's no such thing as spot training. That's what was mentioned in my butt workout video. But in the case of the thighs, since the thighs are a bigger, more complex muscle group, they actually have a higher caloric expenditure, meaning that they actually burn a lot more calories, burning a lot more fat. And because they burn a lot more fat, you'll start to see fat loss from everywhere when you work out your legs and your thighs, because they're actually the bigger muscle group that you're going to be working out regardless. So in the video right now, we're actually going to use a little bit of uh, weights, dumbbells, kettlebells, and barbells. If you don't have kettlebells or a barbell, just use the dumbbells. We're also going to use a step riser. Um, and for those of you who are worried about, well, you know, I don't want to use dumbbells. I don't want to gain size and I don't want to get huge in my thighs. My thighs are already big enough. I don't want to have these giant thunder thighs. Guess what? That's not going to happen. You're going to build up lean mass underneath and it's going to start to burn off the fat because you're going to build up a faster metabolism. And that's what we want. We want to build up a faster metabolism, burn the fat, and see nice, tight, sexy, toned thighs. Anyways, let's get into the workout. Enough talk from me. And we're going to go right into starting it off with squats. So we're going to have Davina start off with squats. Go ahead and start squatting. Now, right now she has no weights, no dumbbells, no kettlebells, nothing like that. And we're going to go over about 10 to 15 reps here. But after about 10 reps right now, we're going to have her hold it at the bottom. And go ahead and finish it up. There you go, hold it. Now she's holding it for about 15 seconds. 15, 14, 13, 4, 12, 3, 11, 2, 1. And then come back up to a squat, keep squatting. And I'm going to have her keep squatting just to get a little bit more blood flow in the legs, get her heart rate up a little bit higher before she starts the next set. So come on down, hold it again. Hold it. 10, 9, 2, two 1. Seven. And now from here, what she's going to do is go into a pulse. So she's going to hold it from the bottom, come up about halfway, and then back down. 10, 9, good. 8, good. 7, 2, one. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and start hit, uh, targeting the inner thigh by sticking your, her feet out wide and going into a plie squat, turning the toes out. Now it doesn't have to be entirely sideways. It could be slightly inwards, depending on your flexibility. Go ahead and squat. There you go. And now we're still following the same rules as a squat. We're, we don't want the knees passing over the toes. And she's gonna go about another 10 to 12 reps here. Eleven. Now here we're going to add a little bit of an explosion. So she's going from a plie to a jump from the bottom of the plie. Two, three. Going to do about two more, and then hold it at the bottom. Hold ten, nine, eight, two, seven, and one. All right. Now we're going to grab those fifteen pounders. We're going to put one foot up on the step. Right here we're targeting her quads as well as squeezing the glute at the top and opening up the hip. Now easy way to figure out if your step is too big or too small is just put your foot up on it and if your knee is higher than your hip, it's too tall. If your knee is way lower than your hip, it's not tall enough. But you should be able to do about 12 to 15 reps on this exercise right here on each leg. Now we're going to go into a cross lunge. By you're facing forward, and you're going to take one leg, cross it, and drop the knee. There you go. And this is going to start targeting your outer thigh as well as your glute. Go 
go ahead and switch. How do you feel, Davina? Tired. Tired. <laughs> well, my heart rate's up. Good. All right, and we're going to stop there. Now you can pause the video, take a break, and go ahead and do that set maybe two more times. And we'll get right back to you. Welcome back to our second half. Davina is not scared of heavy weight right now, but she's going to start off with a side lunge with a nice 35 pound kettlebell. And same rules apply as we've always been applying. We don't want the knees going over the toes. We're sticking the butt way back. All right. And we're going to go ahead and do about 10 to 12 reps on each side. Now, grab a weight that's appropriate. You want to be able to make sure that you can handle the weight that you're, hand you're doing. Okay, so now we just finished off the side lunges to focus again on the adductors and abductors. What we're going to do now is go into a lunge, and from the bottom of the lunge, Davina's going to come up and front kick right there. There you go. Almost knocked my hand off. Going to kill me here. And if you don't have somebody, obviously, to kick like Davina does, you go ahead and kick the air. But Davina loves taking out her frustration on my arm right now. Obviously, make sure that you're switching legs. And we're doing 12 to 15 reps on both legs. Right, 11 and 12. Now that Davina just finished that lunge kick, what we're going to do is go ahead and grab the medicine ball. And we're going to go into squat jumps on top of the box. Now, obviously, if the box is too high, lower the box. If the weight is too much and you just can't handle it, don't use the medicine ball. Just go ahead and uh, squat jump on a smaller step. Do what you can with your fitness level is the key here. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and do it in 10, 12 reps and burn out her thighs. And then here, you wanna also make sure that your knees are not passing over your toes at any point. And you see that Davina's allowing the impact to absorb into her butt. But when she lands, her butt goes back. So we just finished our squat jumps. Now, if you just finished that, go ahead and pause it, take a break, get some water, relax, and then come back to this when you're ready. But now we're gonna go ahead and start off with our deadlifts and while we're doing the deadlifts it's very important to keep a neutral spine alignment which Davina is doing very well and also do not lock out your knees a lot of people do stiff legged deadlifts where the knees are locked out and what ends up happening is when you have uh, your knees locked out is you start to pull down on your hamstrings way too much and your form starts to get really sloppy you'll start to see rounding in the back rounding of the butt and the deadlifts usually do not look that great but these are good deadlifts right here slight bend in the knees hips going straight back and then after about 12 to 15 reps here, she's going to go ahead and drop one of the weights and go into a single-legged deadlift. Now, this might take some practice. If you're not that far ahead and advanced in your workout routine, it might take a little bit of practice to get this down. So just do it without a weight at first. I usually actually find the weight actually acts as a counterbalance for me. Um, and one of the common flaws here is that people are too afraid to put the back leg up high enough. And when you do that, you'll start to um, not have that much balance based on the fact that you're not putting, picking your leg up. So this is still focusing on the same uh, principles as the hamstring, bending at the hip, slight bend in the knee, and keeping control of your muscle. And again, we're going to do about 10 to 12 reps. Go ahead and switch sides. Davina is doing a great job. Good job, nerd girl. Go ahead. So the last thing we're doing here, if you just finished off our single-legged uh, deadlifts, pause it, take a break. You want to do the single-legged deadlifts for about two sets, 15, 20 reps. But right here, what we're going to go into next is going to go into a lunge with a decline here. So we have the same step. We actually just lowered it a bit. We're going to go ahead into a decline lunge. And again, we're going to go about 12, 15 reps, and then we're going to switch it up. And then, again, to add a little bit more variation to make the intensity a little bit harder, what we're going to do is we're going to have Davina hold it at the bottom, and bring it up about halfway right there and then back down. And what we're doing is we're just pulsing that muscle and we're just gonna get a good 10 reps that way with the pulse. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, we're not normally this yellow, it just seems to be the sun's glaring in right now. But anyways, I promise you guys when you hit the subscribe button that I'll torture Davina more and guess what? I torture Davina more. So I'm gonna say it again, hit the subscribe button right here and I'll torture her more. 
Uh, hit subscribe button if you guys are interested in more fitness related information. This whole channel is based on our personal trainers knowledge and experiences as trainers. So hit the subscribe button, you'll see more videos on all of us. And also you can click on one of the links down here for more videos on our trainers. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, like us, and then we also, if you have any kind of questions for us specifically, you can go under 180pts.com and find us under the trainer tab. You'll find all of our trainers and you can ask us any kind of question. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.